Hi guys, uh, we will take up one more problem on convolution sum uh, of an infinite length sequence. Uh, this time, let let the input signal x of n is equal to u of n minus 2, which is unit step function, shifted right two time, and impulse response h of n is equal to, uh, we will take u of n minus 5. So, determine determine output of LTA system or it's also called as convolution sum determine convolution sum so solution so what is the step first step step one step one is to plot x of n and h of minus n right so x of n is what it is u of n shifted Write two times so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is shifted right two times, so it starts from 2 and ends up to infinity. And the sum truth is 1, so this is at n equal to 0. Okay, now what is h of n? Sorry, I need to plot h of minus n. So, how does an h of minus n looks like? So what is h of n? h of n is u of n shifted right 5 times. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is from 5 it starts and it will goes to infinity. Its amplitude is 1. What I need is h of minus n. So how does an h of minus n looks like? It is nothing but mirror image of this. So it starts from minus 5, minus 6, minus 7 minus 8 and it goes till minus infinity ok and this is at n equal to 0 this is here so it start from so minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 so it start from minus 5 minus 6 so minus 7 and it goes till minus infinity right ok this is here. and again this is n. So this is for x of n sequence, this is for h of minus n sequence. And uh, uh, what is the next thing I need to do? Once I plotted x of n and h of minus n, I need to change its independent variable to k, right? So I'll change it here itself, I'm not plotting it again. Now this is x of k and this is k and this is h of minus k and this is k. Okay. So what is step 2? Step 2 is to bring both the sequence in the same independent variable k. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So just place x of k in that uh, index itself so it is starting from 2 so 2 3 4 5 6 7 until infinity so its amplitude is 1 so this is x of k now from where uh, h of minus k starts so it is starting from minus 5 right so it is minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 and it goes till minus infinity and this amplitude is 1. So this is h of minus k. So right. So the one end of the h of minus k is minus infinity which I cannot reach whereas the other end is minus 5. So I can put a slider here and uh, this is nothing but controlling index. Uh, what is the controlling index? Controlling index here is it is minus 5. So just add one term plus n here so that it is minus 5 plus n which is nothing but n minus 5. Okay. 
now I have the controlling index set I can move this n minus 5 starting from minus infinity to plus infinity and I can uh, see what are the overlap region and what are the non overlapping regions ok uh, so step step 3 move this sequence starting from minus infinity to plus infinity let us assume that this n minus 5 it started from minus infinity and it keep on coming from minus infinity dot 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 minus thousand dot 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 minus 100 minus 10 till minus 5 it stopped at minus 5 right so till here also there was no overlap now what I do I will bring further right till it goes to 1 ok ok so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is x of k and this is h of minus k so minus uh, this is 1 this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and dot 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 this is also dot 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 so this is for this is for x of k sequence and this is for h of minus k there is a slider now this, previously the slider was n min, n minus 5 was here now I bought to 1 so slider goes to here which is n minus 5 ok now till here till n minus 5 goes to 1 there was no overlap now overlap starts if I further move this uh, slider index uh, right ok so if I plot it I will plot it just as a sketch so 2 3 4 5 6 7 I will bring this slider n minus 5 to somewhere around 5 ok so 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 this is x of k sequence and the other sequence is h of minus k I will bring this to 5 here so this is h of minus k sequence this is still minus infinity this is up to plus infinity ok slider is here now previously it was here now I bought it to 5 so now the slider from here to here right okay. so what is this now n minus 5 so controlling index is n minus 5 so from base the overlap starts overlap actually start from 2 right so these h of minus k and x of k starts overlapping from 2 right so it starts overlapping from 2 and where does it ends in this case it has ended at 5 but if I keep this n minus 5 to 100 so the overlapping portion ends at 100 if I keep it at 1000 it ends at 1000 if I keep it infinity it, keep, it ends at infinity ok so from minus infinity till 1 there was no overlap and the overlap started at 2 till infinity it overlaps right so so let me divide the regions non overlap region and overlap region so, so, so what are the non overlap regions so for n minus 5 for n minus 5 is less than 2 right n minus 5 is less than 2 so if I write it in terms of n this minus 5 goes to the other side n is less than 2 plus 5 which is n is less than 7 so n is less than 7 there is no overlap so y of n is equal to summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so this is 0 times 0 which is equal to 0 since there is no overlap ok now what about the overlap region so overlap start from overlap start from n minus 5 greater than or equal to 2 right so n minus 5 greater than or equal to 2 or if I bring this to the other side n is greater than or equal to 7 right so what is y of n y of n is equal to summation k case from where it starts to overlap 2 right so it is 2 
and where does the overlap ends? n minus 5. It depends upon where I keep that slider n minus 5. Fine. So x of k and h of minus n minus k. What is the amplitude of x of k? So this is x of k and this is h of minus k. Amplitude of x of k is a unit step function which is 1 and h of minus k which is nothing but n minus k. It is also unit step function which is 1. So therefore y of n is equal to summation k varying from 2 to n minus 5 1. Now if now uh, the thing is no if I have the summation index something like this I need to bring it to the standard form. Okay. So when I say standard form it is nothing but summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 1 where its result is n. I need to bring this limit to somehow 0. Here it is 0 but here it is not 0 but I have to bring it to 0. So there is a trick here. Okay, Let me show you how uh, how uh, we can bring it to the standard form. So, so for example if I have summation n varying from say 7 to infinity 1 and I want to bring this to uh, 0. It is 7 now but I want this to be 0. How do we do that? What do you do? You bring this number whatever you have in the right hand side to the left hand side and equate it with a dummy variable. Okay, Any dummy variable. So put, put n if I take plus 7 to other side it becomes minus 7 is equal to some dummy variable I will take it as n. Okay, And write this in terms of n. What is n from this? n is nothing but tm plus 7. Fine. Now what I do in this summation wherever n is there I am replacing it by m plus 7. Fine. What happens? Summation n which is nothing but m plus 7 is equal to 7 to so this is also n right. So m plus 7 is equal to infinity 1. Now if I bring this 7 to the other side, so summation m is equal to 7 minus 7 is 0 and if I bring this 7 to the other side, say m is equal to infinity because infinity minus 7 is infinity 1. Right? This is how it is done. If you have, if you don't have 0 here, you can make it 0 just by uh, uh, pushing it to the other side and equate it with a dummy variable and write it in terms of n. So in this equation wherever n is there you write it in terms of uh, write the right hand side of this which is m plus 7 so that this impose uh, a lower limit to 0. Fine. Now let me come back to this equation. What, uh, what, so what I had here y of n is equal to y of n is equal to summation k is equal to 2 to n minus 5 1. Here is some 2 to n minus 5 1. Right? Okay. Now what we do? We This is not 0 so I have to make it 0. What do we do? You bring this 2 to the other side. So put put k minus 2 is equal to m. Write it in terms of k. k is nothing but m plus 2. Now in this summation wherever k is there I am replacing it by m plus 2. What happens? y of n is equal to summation m plus 2 is equal to 2. 2 this is all, this is k right? So m plus 2 is equal to n minus 5. 1. Right? Now write the upper limit and lower limit in terms of m. So y of n is equal to summation m is equal to 0 right because if 2 goes to the other side 2 minus 2 is 0. Now what is m from what is the upper limit of m? m is equal to if this 2 goes to the other side n minus 5 minus 2 which is nothing but n minus 7 1 right. Now this is in the standard form. So what is the standard form we have? Standard form is summation n varying from 0 to uh, n minus 1 1 right and what is the right hand side of this n? So now some this has to be brought in the form of n minus 1 so I will write it as n so y of n is equal to summation m varying from 0 to uh, n minus 6 minus 1 which is nothing but n minus 7 1 ok and what is the right hand side of this? this has to come to the right hand side so this has to come to the right hand side which is nothing but n minus 6 
right so uh, okay let me uh, uh, summarize the whole output sequence therefore y of n is what it is 0 y of n is 0 for n is less than 7 for n less than 7 and it is equal to n minus 6 for n so for n greater than or equal to 7 greater than or equal to 7 so this is the output of a LTI system for the input u of n minus 2 and u and impulse response u of n minus 5. We'll take up uh, one more uh, problem in the next video.